Previously on Sims Survivor, after winning the reward challenge, the Savai'i tribe re-established their dominance in physical competitions in this game. In particular, Kristen was able to secure the win for them and allowed them to secure safety heading into Tribal Council. However, on the Apolu tribe, tensions were definitely divided as multiple factions were ready to take aim at each other heading into the vote. Unfortunately, after two consecutive tie votes, Roger and Abram were the final two people up for elimination, but it was Abram who was sent home by a vote of 4-2. to two. Fifteen castaways remain. Who will be voted out next? Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims Survivor. We finally had a guy voted out of the game. It's unfortunate that it had to be Abram. I was rooting for him, I thought he was going to go a bit further but he unfortunately bit the dust. Roger was almost sent home, but the Apollo tribe kind of switched it up on them with only, I'm trying to think about who else, but I think only Neil and Landon took aim at Roger while the rest of them decided to unfortunately vote out Abram. Nevertheless, we are now down to 15 castaways, or it's day 16 in the game. It's crazy, like the season's flying by pretty quickly at this point, and Every day I'm like seeing new things are happening and I'm kind of stunned and left wondering who's going to be voted out next because you get comfortable and you think someone's going to go far and they don't. We've got a jam-packed episode today. I have something up my sleeve that I haven't disclosed yet, but something will be happening, something special in this episode, and there will also be an immunity challenge. So without further ado, let's get into it. Unfortunately for Roger, he was almost sent home, so he is not in a good position in this game. There's also a tie vote between... Where is he? Dylan! There you are, you're with Ruby. So yeah, Dylan was also in danger at one point, but they spared him and he was able to help secure the vote. Thank God it did not go to a rock draw because that would not have been fun whatsoever. I just, yeah, that, no, like, I would have not been able to handle that, just all the editing and having to edit the rock onto people, like, it's just, it was a lot already, so I'm happy it just kind of ended there. It's unfortunate that Abram's gone, but that, like, this season has just had such crazy votes. Like, I don't know what, how to explain it other than that, like, it's just every vote has been a shock and something that I haven't had to deal with. In season one so definitely getting adjusted to it unfortunately for Shrikumar another deal was voted out his brother Abram was voted out of the game so he's kind of on his own at this point it's gonna be interesting to see how he's going to adjust to it because if I'm not mistaken he has gotten votes in the past at the last couple council that the Savaya tribe went to and the only one they went to I believe um, he received a vote against him so He's gonna need to adjust or else his brother and him could be the first duo officially voted out of the game. So, time will tell. Favorite saying, but time will tell in this instance. As we progress through each episode in each tribal council, I am more and more impressed by Kiana's gameplay. I think it's astounding that she hasn't had to use her idol yet. I think she's the one person in the game who's held it on like held on to her idol the longest it's amazing that's what you need to do if you feel that you don't have to use it and you're able to keep it for another vote that's just another tribal council to secure you through i think she's maneuvering exactly how you want to maneuver i think she's gonna go far hopefully i really like her gameplay in case you couldn't tell but she's definitely playing a great strategic game we're not quite at the jury phase but i'm intrigued to see if Kristen will be perceived as a threat and somebody to get voted out because if they let him get to the merge stage of this game and he's able to compete in individual immunity challenges he's a sure he has a sure chance to win so I don't know they might try and take him out ahead of time because he did get votes also but yeah it's if they keep winning and they keep doing well in challenges they won't need to worry about that so yeah, on the Savai tribe, in addition to Kriskin, I think Enzo, and to a degree Reyna, should be concerned. Reyna, obviously, she's had an immunity idol, she played it, she's received votes at tribal councils. Enzo, 
he's just, I haven't paid a lot of attention to him because he hasn't been doing a lot, like, <laughs> in all honesty. So I'm like, he could get taken out early or he could flow all the way to the end. Either way, so I don't know what's gonna end up with him or where he's going to fall into the rest of the season, but concerned, concerned about where he's headed. I think in this game, Roger needs to start pinning everyone against each other. He should focus on getting Ruby and Neil against each other. And Dylan and Kaylee, just get the heat off of yourself. Because if they go to Chapel Council again, I think Roger's a sure person to go home. He has Landon and Neil wanting him out. So he needs to somehow integrate himself into those mini alliances. You just, you don't need to be friends with everybody. You just, you can't be the person that's easy to discard or else you're gonna go home. Hello everyone. I know you're probably expecting for there to be a challenge right now, but that is not the case. Just want to take a moment. It is currently day 16 in this game. 15 of you remain. Five people have been voted out in some of the most explosive tribal councils I've seen. And you've all gotten to know your tribe mates just a little bit better and have time to connect with them. Unfortunately, we are going to be switching things up. This is a tribe swap. Everybody drop your buffs. In just a moment, each of you will be assigned buffs and be split into your new tribes. As you can see, we will be having three tribes of five. We'll be having the Savai'i tribe, the Apolu tribe, and the brand new Namua tribe. So without further ado, let's see where everybody's gonna end up. Landon has been swapped to the Savai'i tribe. Ruby has been swapped to the Savai'i tribe. Roger has been swapped to the Namua tribe. Kaylee has been swapped to the Namua tribe. Neil is staying on the Upolu tribe. Kiana is being swapped to the Namua tribe. Dylan is being swapped to the Namua tribe. Liana is staying on Savai'i. Axel is staying on Savai'i. Lucas is being swapped to the Apolu tribe. Reyna is being swapped to the Namua tribe. Marie is being swapped to the Apolu tribe. Kriskin is staying on the Savai'i tribe. Shrikumar is being swapped to the Apolu tribe. And Enzo is being swapped to the Apolu tribe. Looking at the brand new Apolu tribe, Shrikumar, Lucas, Enzo, and Marie are the majority. They're all original Savai'i members. So Neil is not in a good position. He's the only Apolu member on this tribe. On the brand new Namua tribe, Reyna, on the other hand, like her boyfriend Neil, is the only member from her original tribe, the only original Savai'i. Kiana, Dylan, Kaylee, and Roger are all original Polu, so it's not looking too good for her. And finally, the new Savai'i tribe, which I think is the most interesting dynamic, has three original Savai'i with Axel, Kristen, and Liana, whereas Ruby and Landon are original Upolu, so they're in the minority. However, Ruby and Liana are the only couple who were put together because of the swap, so they're going to play a dynamic in this tribe. It's going to be interesting. I would say Landon's on the outs because he doesn't have a partner and he's in the minority, but you don't know. Things could change very quickly. With this tribe swap, loyalties are up in the air. If you thought things were uncertain before, just wait. And with the new Namua tribe, unfortunately, they're starting from scratch. But because this is a new tribe, if you look closely, you'll be able to see a lump of clay. So yes, a new hidden immunity idol is available. Currently, Kiana, who's on the Namua tribe, and Lucas who is on the Apolu tribe, are the only people in the game with idols. Will Kiana get a second idol? Like, I don't think I've ever, like, I don't think I ever imagined that happening, but if she's able to secure two idols, like, by all means, you do it. And the third hidden immunity idol has been found. Kaylee has secured herself a hidden immunity idol. This is definitely going to be advantageous to the four Upolu on the new Namua tribe because Reyna didn't get the idol and Kaylee knows that she has the idol. So Reyna is vulnerable and they'll be able to take a shot at her. Possibly, they don't know if she has 
the Savai Tribe Idol, mind you, but this is definitely great for Kaylee's game, and it's just great to see more girls get the idols considering that so many have been voted out this season. The Savai Tribe is definitely the most interesting in terms of their dynamics, I've already mentioned this, but Liana and Ruby are reunited, they're a force to be reckoned with. And although Axel and Kristen may not know Landon that well, and it would be easy to just get rid of him the first vote, Liana and Ruby aren't going to vote each other once it gets to the four of them. So they're either going to turn Axel and Kristen against each other, or Axel and Kristen need to find a way to get rid of Ruby, possibly before they have to worry about that. So definitely a lot to look out for on this tribe. At face value, things are clear cut on the new Upolu tribe. Enzo, Marie, Lucas, Shrikumar, they're all original Savai tribe members. So in the event that they go to tribal council, Neil would be a really easy vote for them. But it's interesting, if Neil's able to socially maneuver his way in, even if it's just to turn it against one person, like, I still don't know that he would be able to survive the, if they went to Tribal Council after that. So Neil just needs to focus on winning immunity for this tribe. Marie is the only girl on this tribe as well, so the guys could possibly turn on her. I don't know, there's so much at play with this tribe too. With Kaylee finding the idol, that provides some protection to the original Polo members on the Namua tribe. But... Dylan and Roger are not in good positions. They just got back from a tie vote from the original Polu tribe. And with Kiana and Kaylee both having idols, if Reyna gets voted off and they if they go to tribal council, then that's an easy vote. But the second vote, it's down between Roger and Dylan because there's not really going to be any choices. So they have to figure out something because right now it looks like they're safe if they only go to tribal council once but they are sitting ducks so they need to start maneuvering their way into those relationships or start pinning it against each other and just make sure that for dylan that roger goes and for roger that dylan goes hello everyone it is now time for your first immunity challenge as new tribes without further ado i'm gonna explain how today's challenge is going to work for today's immunity challenge, there will be a series of five rounds in which the tribes will attempt to earn points. In each round, one member from each tribe will do a water slide trick. There are multiple tricks available. If they do a surf, they get five points. If they do a flip, they get three points. If they do a spin, they get two points. And if they do a scratch, they get one point. If they fail out, then they will get zero points that round. After each round, I will update you with the scoreboard showing who's in the lead. And after five rounds, whichever one tribe has the most amount of points will win immunity. That means in our next episode, there will be a double tribal council in which the two losing tribes will head to tribal council and vote out one person each. So two people will be voted out next episode. Would have fitted into this episode, but this episode's just too cram-packed, and I just needed <laughs> the space to have a separate episode dedicated to this. And it builds up momentum. It's excitement. Two people are getting voted out in the next episode. That's a lot to look forward to. So, without further ado, let's get into the challenge. In our first round, we have Shrikumar from the Apollo tribe, Reina from the Namua tribe, and Axel from the Savai tribe. And Shrikumar has done a slide, that's 5 points. And Reina has flopped, that's 0 points. I was late with the record on this one, but Axel flopped, he got 0 points. After round 1, the Apollo tribe is in the lead. In round two, we have Lucas from the Apolu tribe, Kiana from the Namua tribe, and Kristen from the Savai tribe. And Lucas has scored five points. Kiana has done a scratch, which is one point. Kristen has scored zero points. After round two, the Apolu tribe still has a massive lead. In round 3, we have Enzo from the Apolu tribe, Dylan from the Namua tribe, and Liana from the Savai tribe. Enzo has scored 1 point. 
Dylan has scored five points. Liana has scored one point. After round three, the Opolu tribe is still in the lead, but the Namua tribe is trying to make a comeback. In round four, we have Marie from the Apolu tribe, Kaylee from the Namua tribe, and Ruby from the Savai tribe. Marie has scored zero points. Kaylee has done a flip, which is three points. Ruby has scored three points. After round four, the Apolu tribe is still in the lead with 11 points, but the Namua tribe is only two points behind. In our final round, we have Neil from the Apolu tribe, Roger from the Namua tribe, and Landon from the Savai tribe. Neil has scored one point. Roger has scored one point. Landon has scored zero points. And with a total of 12 points, congratulations to the Apolu tribe. You are safe from tribal council. Unfortunately for the Namua and Savai tribes, I've got nothing for you, but you will both be heading to tribal council where two more people will be voted out of the game. And that concludes this episode of Sims Survivor. I know there was a lot going on in this episode. We had an idol found, we had an immunity challenge, we had a tribe swap most importantly, but the dynamics have completely shifted in this game. In our next episode, unfortunately, two more people will be voted out. Will the people in the minorities on their tribe be able to sway anyone? Will there be any surprises or will there just be straightforward votes? Knowing this season, I doubt that, but you never know. Thank you so much for watching. It honestly means the world to me, and I'll see you next time.